Hi, my name is Kai, and today I'm going to show you a do-it-yourself method for shooting 35mm in your Holga or Diana. First thing you need to do is gather some tools. A pair of pliers, a straight razor, some masking tape or any other tape, a pen. Here I have a tongue depressor, but a popsicle stick, plastic spoon, or anything that can easily be cut to a specified width will work. Okay, first thing we're going to do is take, you either take a 120 foam roll or a spool, doesn't matter which because they're both the same height, and we're going to line that up here on the tongue depressor, and we're going to make it We'll mark here on the end. Next, I'm going to make a cut or score right along that mark. I'm just digging in, repeating myself to kind of get in deep. Take the pliers and I'm going to break off make this even. There. Now the important thing for this whatever you're using, popsicle stick spoon or plastic spoon, is that it fit in the film compartment. And you don't want too much play. What this is going to do, we're going to mount the 35mm cassette to this, and it's going to act as a spacer to make sure that the 35mm film stays centered over the lens opening. Next, we're going to take a couple strips of tape. and centering the cassette on whatever you, it is you're using, tongue depressor, spoon. Apply a couple pieces of tape. Just like this. There we go. What this is, it's going to hold the cassette centered across the opening here. Next thing we need now is a little bit of aluminum foil. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to use this to seal the red window opening on the back of your camera. Use a little bit of make it the right size. And you want to make sure you're covering both openings. Uh, the Holga and the Diana have um, that slider window. And you want to make sure that the foil is big enough to cover both sides. on all four sides. Make sure that's nice and light tight. There. Now the reason why we're taping this up, of course, is unlike a 120 film, 35 millimeter film does not have a paper backing so that if we ran the film without covering up the window, it would expose the film. So the way this works now is Put in the take-up spool. Drop your cassette in. Now remember, this will work for both either your Diana Plus uh, or Vintage Diana, or in this case, the Holga. So 
So I've threaded the film through the center here. Actually, what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of tape here. I'm gonna tape that to itself here. That's to make sure that, uh, tape to the spool, that the film doesn't wander as it's winding. You don't want it any play up and down. You want the film going straight over the center of the of the film of the ch channel there. Okay. So I'm going to wind this up a little bit here. Now the other thing you need to do. If you're working with a Diana, um, you take a Sharpie and I would make a little dot say here, then another little dot in the front of the camera there. Now the reason why you're going to do this is that every time you wind this, that's one turn. And you're going to use this little dot and the dot on the camera to count how many times you're turning the knob. And the whole go you can do the same thing here. Dot here. Dot here. On uh, the hole gets a little harder to see because it's black on black, but it's the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is wind this. There's one. Okay, I've gone five revolutions. So what you're gonna do is, after you take each picture, you're gonna advance the film two and a half turns. Um, it could actually be a little less than that, but I've settled on two and a half because it's easy to keep track of where you are in relation to the, the dots. There's um, charts available online telling you exactly how many turns it is because the number of turns does change as you advance the film and the thickness of the spool gets thicker as the film winds onto it. You'll actually need fewer turns as you get to the end of the ro of a roll. Um, from myself, I've just standardized on two and a half turns, and that's what I do for the whole roll. It's a little wasteful on film, but um, infinitely a little simpler to deal with. And that's how you do a 35 millimeter roll of film in a Holga or Diana camera. Have fun.